So in a nutshell, this video is about how the bow and arrow went killing the clover and the bindi and the broadleaf weeds, and it did very well. And it didn't discolor the kaiku at all, so really impressed. Now that the weeds are dying, I'll do a mow, and I'm going to do a mow with the cylinder mower, get some lines, I'm going to go a different direction. Um, just so you can actually see it when you're pulling up to the school, you can actually see the lines up and down going that way. And also, you know, it, uh, now we've got the weeds gone and uh, we've got consistent mowing, we can do uh, some fertilising. And it's about a month to go before spring, so we want to um, really get it going again before we do our spring renovation which is probably about five six weeks away first bit of the video is about um, my saturday with my family so if you want to skip ahead uh, five and a half minutes from from here um, and don't want to see that uh, that's fine go to there and then you'll find all the lawn stuff i did on the sunday get your lawn on Ticket. Is that good, Heidi? So, what's next, Heidi? First wheel. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> I'm totally scared, Heidi. Can you give me a kiss? Oh, thank you. Do you not like heights? No, I don't like heights. Can I have another kiss? Me too. Um, actually, I like heights. <laughs> you do like heights, do you? Yeah. Well, top of the world at Warfest 2019. No gardening today. Got to look after the kids and the family. It's a beautiful day out here. It's like 18, 19 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky. It's not hot. And we're just having a great time. So what's the next ride after this one? Uh, Magic Castle. Magic Castle. Whoa, Whoa Heidi! Oh, good girl. Seat belts. Seat belts similar to what you'll get in the car. Yeah. It will go across your body from your yeah. shoulders. Yeah. To remove it, red button. Yeah. Remove it. Put yeah. it back. Simple. Yeah. yeah. You each get a headset, keep it on the top of your head. Yeah. Keep the mouthpiece close to you. Yeah. This is voice activated. Right, okay. Billy and I will be the only two ones bringing you there and bringing you back, yeah. opening and closing the, your doors for you. Yeah. Perfect. Helicopter's landing. Yeah. <laughs>
the helicopter? Yeah. So I'm back here at the school today. Super impressed with the weed death after using the bow and arrow on the Kaikuya. And it didn't discolour the Kaikuya at all. And yeah, the weeds are on their way out, which is great. I'm going to do a mow today. I'm going to mow that way and that way with the cylinder mower. And that way people coming out of the building here will um, get a real good, um, good look at the lines. The way I did it the other way the last time was that way. And if you're coming out from where I'm standing now, you really couldn't see it. So uh, we're going to do something nice and special today for the school and the students. And as I said before, the weed death, that is really starting to occur. That's not happy. You can see the discoloration there, but that's the weeds. And as you can see, they're really disappearing. So really happy with the weed death. The bigger ones are going to take about six weeks to go totally, but uh, we can mow today. It's eight days since I treated, so fantastic. So I started this mow off with the catcher but uh, I wasn't really uh, cutting off that much so I took the catcher off and I ended up doing a double mow of all of this and that uh, made the lines a fair bit more defined. Um, and then look it's going really well as you can see if you really look closely to the footage the uh, mower sort of bounces around a bit it's quite rutted and, and very uneven but very impressed for this time of year getting getting stripes on on the kaiku that is just um, you know it's not in the best condition going that's for sure so I'm looking forward to flattening it out for the spring reno and really making those lines stand out so it's looking really good after a cut with the cylinder mower and I reckon she's probably about oh, sitting at about 20 millimeters I didn't go too low um, so the color to me looks like it needs a bit and seeing as the weed death is occurring uh, we can start fertilizing I'm gonna get some four seasons down here it's 700 meters square here so that's about three bags I'm gonna be using the bush ranger uh, granular spreader and should knock off this area fairly easily So I put the Bush Ranger granular spreader on number seven. That gave a nice light spread of the four seasons. And for my walking pace, which is now obviously quickened up here, um, you know, I went through the three bags quite nicely and evenly and uh, in two different directions to get a good spread. So it worked out quite well. Uh, one bag was one way, the other bag was another way, and then the third bag was the uh, other way. It covered the whole 700 metres squared, so it's pretty good. What we've got to do now is water it in. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes after putting the four seasons down. This is uh, about a 60 minute water, a bit more than what I would do normally, but I don't want to play with the program too, too much until the, uh, the bloke that uh, is full time at school who's on holidays at the moment just shows me uh, what the go is with the, uh, with the irrigation. So, um, you know, 60 minutes, probably a bit too long, but it's not going to matter much. And that's that, job done. Get your lawn off. 